people that come, but let's take off, help us to by taking our project to do something. I'm not so much calling people that, you know, come and then we hold the crusades. Yes, crusades are good. They are a key. They are very important. But after evangelizing, where are those people going to go? Yes, we want seminars. Seminars are great. People, they need to be taught. But I think they have been taught enough that can sus sustain them as of today. But they need something practical. Where we can be helped. You know, at times you just don't know how God is going to bless you, how God is going to use you. The Bible says, I'll use this story about uh, you know I'm concerned about time <laughs> but uh, I, I'll use, I, I use this story about David one time David was in Ziklag he ran for his life there this is the time when David was compromising to survive. That's when David played insanity. He went before the king and he acted as if he was insane so that he could survive. And the king told him that well, just know that when the war comes, when it comes when it comes to go to war, you go to war. If it means to fight the children of Israel, you go to war with me and we fight. He was in the land of the enemy. This is when David sought refuge in the territory of the enemy. He sought refuge in the Philistine. One day when David had tried to go to war, but as they are on the way, the men of the land said this is a mistake to take David and his guys on the war. They may change their mind as we go and then turn against us. So before David got back, to cut the story short, wives and children had been taken and the city was on fire. The Bible says the men cried to the extent they were left with no guts to cry and they were threatening to stone David. David inquired of the Lord, should I pursue? That the Lord told him, pursue, and you overtake, and you succeed, and you recover everything. I don't know if you've ever got such a vision to pursue, and God promises you to overtake even to succeed. But when you don't know who to pursue, what to pursue, how to overtake, and how to succeed. Because remember, David wasn't there. He didn't know who had plundered or taken the wives and the children who had put the, the city on fire. But God told him to pursue. To pursue what? To pursue who? God told him to overtake. To overtake who? Succeed what? David didn't know who to pursue, where to pursue, how to go about it. But David took the word. Probably they followed some footsteps and they started to pursue. The Bible says on the way, as they were pursuing, the men who were with David pursuing, they came across a guy who had fallen, very sick, very weak, and they brought to David. David could have rejected this guy and he would have told his guys that are you serious? We are in a pursuit to recover our wives and our children and now you are bringing me this weak guy? You are wasting our time, forget it. They would have run over him, 
they would have stepped on him, they would have kicked him out of the way and continued to pursue. But they picked this guy, took him to David, and he was an Egyptian. David used the little food he had and the water he had, he fed this guy with the food they had and the water, and he regained the strength. And when he regained, David asked him who he was. He told him as he was an Egyptian, as he was a servant of the Amalekites who had, and of the Amalekites, and he told him that they are the ones who had invaded the city, burned the city, and taken captive the wives and the children. Now David got to know who burned the city, who took the children and the wives. And now David was asking him, can you direct us where they are, where they directly have taken? If David knew, would it have asked him to direct, would it ask him to direct them? The guy told him that, swear to me that you won't surrender me to my master, because if you do so, I'll be dead. And David made an oath and swore to, and told him, I won't do that. He directed them. The route they had taken were there. And the Bible says they pursued, they overtook, and they recovered everything. But how did they manage? to get to the victory, to the success, to the fulfillment of that vision, of that dream, of that promise. They put interest in someone who was poor, who was needy, who was sick or not. They put interest in somebody. Sometimes our success our victory, our prosperity, our succeeding in life, in our vision, in our dreams, in our ministry, in our business, whatever we do, is by putting interest in other people's business, in other people's dreams and visions. By coming here and we put interest in our brother's vision or dream or like us is calling you for prayer and fasting. You just don't know what God is going to do by you putting interest in that and you come here tonight, and then you come for prayer and fasting, or if one of you said this is share with you with his business, and you know, you cut that business and you run with it. You just don't know what God can do. So I just want to encourage you that in whatever best way, cut the vision, have interest in what is happening, in what God is doing in Uganda, what is God is doing. You may wonder where 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 is really where is my where is really my my portion or my share, where is my interest, where is my benefit? This was an Egyptian guy. David and his men, they were Jews. This was a heathen. This was like an abomination. But they put interest in him. David did not say it's a waste of time, a waste of money. No, he said, this is a guy made in the image and in the likeness of God. He's a fell. We don't know what's his problem. Let us, let us take care of him. Let us feed him. Yes, we are in pursuit to recover our wives and our children, but there is somebody. We just can't leave him die here. Let's take care of him. Let's feed him. Let's help him. Help us to save some people, to rescue some people, to feed some people. Help us to succeed. Our, all what we have done is, as I say, by the grace of God. We cannot claim and to take the credit that we've done what we've done because of whatever. God has used the main people. If I tell you how God has been providing, it's miraculous. People has been providing, God has been providing funds through different individuals. When we come to minister in different churches, meeting by different people, all by God. So I encourage you in whatever best way to help us to accomplish and to fulfill this great calling, this great vision. If you know somebody that can be a blessing 